happen yesterday. That's on the 18th of August, 2023. But unfortunately, due to um, some imp uh, impediment beyond our control, we couldn't um, have the discussion or have the debate. So we rescheduled it to today. That is the 19th of August, 2023. On this very platform, Maruf Live. And before uh, I move on with anything, um, let me clarify this or let me um, make this clear that Maruf Live, we have uh, various admins on it. So in case um, there is any chat or something, um, you shouldn't just assume that I'm the one chatting with it. There are admins that um, have that opportunity uh, to also use uh, the platform. I, I chose to use it for my few days i'll be on social media so i'm also part of it i created it and later handed it to um some muslim uh, muslim brothers okay so guys with me we have uh, baba shuaib and he is my interlocutor so inshallah we say um baba shuaib um you're welcome to my roof life for this um uh, debate inshallah yeah, thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum, ladies and gentlemen. I, I hope they can hear sounding clearly today, inshallah. Uh, we are here again, uh, once again. Yesterday couldn't happen due to some one or two uh, issues. So hopefully today, inshallah, we will have a beneficial discussion and enjoy the program, inshallah. Okay, so, so uh, without wasting of much time, um, we have to straight go into the rules and regulations. Um, Inshallah, we present that and then we, mo we move on from there. I don't want to um, talk much. Let's just, um, my wife, you can, your sent is okay. Okay, so, um, brothers and sisters, as we can see, this uh, is the rules and regulations clearly on our screen. Um, we have um, Sadiq Salis. And Baba Shuaib topic, as we can see, does the hadith explains the Quran or not? So this is the topic. I'm making emphasis on the topic because um, in the rules and regulations, we are not supposed to go off the topic. And that is, we're going to see the relationship, whether there is a correlation or a relationship between the Quran and then the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, or does the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam distinguishly explains uh, the Quran? So that is um, the first one. That's the topic of discussion. And then we have two minutes each for introduction and representation. And then 15 minutes each for the actual presentation of um, the argument. Okay, so then we have 10 minutes um, each for rebuttal. And then 30 minutes for um how do you call it um into cross-examination or what baba had as uh, back and forth okay so then um with that with the 30 minutes everyone is going to have 15 minutes each as we said when there is a question which is an open-ended question open-ended question then uh, the uh answer will have at most five, five minutes to answer that question. What we mean by open-ended question is a question that needs further explanation, a question that doesn't need A or B, yes or no, a question that needs further explanation. The answer will then have five, uh, five minutes at most to answer such a question. Okay, uh, if I'm not leaving anything, then the rules. Number one, no insults. Number two, no mocking. Unfortunately, yesterday when I wasn't online, Baba was saying a lot. Meanwhile, he was the same person who uh, actually um, put these things together, saying that it is God that is saving me, it is what they did, and that that's why my network. Anyways, maybe today Baba said the way he's ready. And so today, inshallah, we'll give him the whip and the horse, and we'll see how far he will go, inshallah. Okay, so number three is no. Uh, interruption. No interruption. Let me increase the brightness a bit. Okay, no interruption 
unless if there is a misquotation or um, mistake or mistake by the speaker. Number four, no off topic issues. That is why I was emphasizing on uh, the topic or the subject of discussion. Number five is every statement will be backed by tangible evidences or sources of information. And number six is one can plead for extra two minutes at a time to finish a point if needed. Okay, so like we said, um, the last part is uh, the question and answer session, which the audience, you, the cherished audience, will have the opportunity at the end when we are done with the cross examination. The floor will then be open uh, for the audience to also um, ask their questions. But then um, I'm thinking if it should be a phone call or um, how do you call it? A message. The person will type uh, the message here. And then uh, how do you call it? Um, we are going to read it out for everyone to hear. But what do you think? Because if it's a call, um, I think uh, making it, uh, how do you call it? A text would be better, inshallah. Uh, if, if, if it's a text, fine. But if it's a what? call in case somebody wants to call, uh, let me see, I can... I can give my public number out where people can call on WhatsApp to ask the question. Then I'll, I'll put it on, uh, you know, speaker so it will be no problem, no audible problem. for everybody to hear when the time arises. No problem. So the questions um, will be at the comment session. The, uh, at the comment session, get it to the later part because if you make it too early, maybe we cannot uh, detect it. So you will get into the later part, then you can uh, ask your questions. Okay, so um, without wasting of much time, there is a timer. So when we start, let me go back. When we start the discussion, I'll then exhibit the timer. And then uh, we, that's what we are going to uh, go by. If it's off, like it is stated, the person, if the person has not finished, the person has the opportunity to plead for um, extra two minutes to finish his submission. Okay, so without wasting of much time, as we've all seen, we will go straight into um, uh, the discussion, inshallah. So the, yeah. we'll start with the first one. Maybe Nobody before we start, anything to say? Yeah, before we start with the introduction, uh, I don't know if there's any link I can get to share to my audience on YouTube, because I, it seems we are only streaming via Facebook. So I don't know if you have any link that is able to be shared. Does it give you any option on your side? A link, a link. Let me see. Okay, the any, only link any, is the link I sent. I sent to you to join. Yeah, that that one is for me. So I don't know if the yeah. other one. But uh, I think you can check okay. your Facebook. You can check your Facebook. Uh, let, go let up me, here. Yeah, let me do this. Let me share the link on my comment section on Facebook where people can actually join. Uh, okay. Wait, just just a, a minute. So I do this. Copy the link, then I put it in the comment section YouTube. Then we can start with the intro. Okay, I'm seeing if I am able to copy a link from here. Okay, so I, I've also been able to copy, anyways. Um, sharing to my wall. Okay, have you been able to share? Yeah. Okay. I'm coming. I'm also sharing the platform if it will be possible. Okay. Okay. So um, I hope we can start now. Yeah. So we go with the intro. I think it's your 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 turn to just make the intro. Just like we okay, started. Sure, sure, sure. So, so guys, um, like we've mentioned, um, let me put the timer. Um, let me put the timer before I start.
Oh, you've not set that timer, the two minutes timer. No, the timer is there. So you just click on it, it will appear on the. Just click on it, it will come up uh -huh, like that. So you can, you can, you can let it restart again. You can pull the arrow. You see, there's a pause option and where you can pull the arrow to start the video backwards like this, like I just did. So now the option is there. So if we click on it to start, the timer comes on the screen. We have the option to pause it or let it keep going. Okay. Do you see? Uh -huh. So you can pause it or you can pull the arrow backwards to start it from number uh, two minutes like this. Okay, sure. Okay, so I think I've gotten, but then I have to put it at some corner that... Um, yeah, there's, there should be the options on uh, stream. Yeah, they give you the options down there on the this. Yeah, I've spread. seen it. I'm, I'm trying to check which one will be better. Um, You see, there is an edit option there. You see edit like a pen. If you click yeah. on it, you can even edit it and push it the distance in the corner. Okay, let me see. Okay, let me try let me try let me try, try that once more and see okay this way this way is better right can you see the screen? Yeah, this is okay. Yeah, I can see. Okay, so, okay, I think we are good to go then. Okay. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, let me put the timer on and then we start from there. Okay, so my name is Sadiq Salis and on this topic, whether the Quran um, uh, defines the, uh, the, the hadith, sorry, the hadith explains the Quran or not, I'm representing the position of the Muslims that lived with the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam as a Sahaba and how they transmitted this religion from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to the Tabi'un and then the Tabi'un also transmitted it to those who follow them in righteousness until uh, today. So that is the position of the Muslims. That is um, over 2 billion Muslims representing uh, that position that the Quran uh, and the Sunnah were two uh, revelations given to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. However, the Quran has its meaning uh, technically with, when, with regards to Islam and then the Hadith technically, I mean, Islahiyan, meaning technically, the Hadith also has its meaning. So I'm not talking about Logat and linguistically, Quran means this, and then Hadith means this. I'm talking about technically how Muslims have understood what the Quran is and what the Hadith is today. Um, the people who say that they believe in the Quran alone, not I, Siddiq Salis, saying that they are non-Muslims. They have been this. Uh, they have been regarded as non-Muslims over the years. So this is not Siddiq Salis uh, saying it. They hide behind uh, the Quran uh, to distort Islam, just like some people will hide behind Ahlul Bayt, the household of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, to distort Islam. Some people also hide behind the love of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, again, to distort the Quran. Some people also hide behind, um, uh, how do you call it, uh, 
prophethood or loga linguistic, and then they also distort the Quran. This is our position that these people they are non-Muslims. Oh, inshallah, my time is up, so I have to end it here, and then inshallah, um, we take the uh, the that of uh, Mr. Shahid. Okay, so let me pause it. Okay. Yeah, you can set it at two. You can okay, so when you if I it, click on it, it will start. It back. No, I mean you pull it back backwards, okay, then sure. you go play. Sure. So you can start. Yeah. Baraz billahi bin shaitan rajim. I seek refuge with Allah against the accursed devil. Uh, have you have you played it? Um, start. Aha. Baraz billahi bin shaitan rajim. Uh, yes. Aha. By the way, my name is Baba Shraib, aka the Correctional Officer, born in Accra, Ghana, a Quranic researcher and a critical thinker based on religion i do online lectures based on the guidance of the quran on platforms such as facebook youtube and tiktok uh, a diploma in information technology in the year 2012 2012 in uh, finland over 10 years of experience in sales and marketing and logistics in finland and over 13 years qbe in classical arabic msa and quranic arabic uh, I am a Muslim who follows the Quran, uh, just as the Prophet does in Quran chapter 27, verse 91 to 92, where he says, wa an wa an wal -Quran. So he has been commanded to be of the Muslims and again to be of somebody who recites the Quran, which has already been explained by God Allah, and as the only source of guidance in Islam. So today I'm here to defend the notion of the Quran being self-explanatory by God himself and none else. So this is what I represent, the Quran for the source of guidance and self-explanatory. So the Hadith has no room for the Quran to be explained. It is the Quran and God himself explaining his own words. This is what I represent and that's why we are here. Thank you all for coming. Okay, so um, you have um, 23 seconds left. No, no, we can end Forward it. it. Oh, okay. So we can just move on to the presentation. Okay. So that one has um, 15 minutes, right? That one has 15 minutes, right? The presentation will have uh, 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Yes. Oh, you've not sent me, sent me a, a time on that, right? Oh, you sent it. It's there, it's there. You check the three options. You see the timer. Uh, it has the options. Okay, I'm checking. Yeah. Okay, I think I've sent it. Yeah. So before I start, you can take it back, pull the arrow or this thing back. Pause it. Then when you when you want okay, me so to start, I'll, you tell me. Then you you, you start. Okay. So our uh, bashwai will be starting with his first fifteen minutes, um, which um, we've set the timer on that <clears throat> to make his first uh, presentation. Okay. Yes. So uh, my presentation does the hadith explain the Quran? The answer is a big no. No, it doesn't. It's a big no. According to Quran chapter 4, verse 82, God says, Afala yatadabbaruna al-Quran, walau kena min indi gairi la la wajiduhu fi ikhtilafan kathira. So God says, do they then not contemplate the Quran? And had it been from other than God, they would have found there in numerous contradictions, or we can see discrepancies. Now, how can books which are full of doubts and contradictions explain a book which has no doubt and contradiction how can that be that is just nonsensical chapter 4 verse 174 god is telling us clearly that he has brought us a proof from him and what is the proof the proof can be found in quran chapter 4 verse 174 where god is telling us ya ayyuhan nas kad ja'akum burhanun min rabbikum 
wa anzalna ilaykum nuran mubina and what does god intend by this god is telling us O you mankind, a proof has come to you from your Lord, and we have revealed to you a clear light. Right? So when we say Burhan, we are talking about any factual evidence that helps to establish the truth of something. Second meaning, the act of validating, finding or testing the truth of something. So God has revealed to us the Burhan, which gives you nur and mubin, a clear light. So then we go. We go to Quran chapter 16, verse 89, where God is telling the prophet in the middle of the verse, he says, Then God is telling him, And we have revealed the book to you, Muhammad, as a clarification. Uh, clarification. You can say elucidation, clarification, explanation, declaration, as a clarification for all things and as guidance, Number one, mercy, number two, and good news for the what? Muslims, submitters. Then we go, chapter 6, verse 105. Then he says, That's how we conducted the verses that they may say, you, Muhammad, salam, have studied, so that we may clarify it. You see, Lubayinahu, Nubayinahu. This masculine pronoun denotes the book, the Quran, where God says to the people who know. So then you go again, Quran chapter 75, verse 16, up to verse 19, where God is telling the prophet, La bihi lisana ke bihi. Do not move your tongue with it in order to hasten with the Quran. Then God says, Inna alayna jama'ahu wa Quranahu. Indeed, upon us is the collection, that is the gathering of it, and its reading. Then God says, Then he says, so when we read it, then follow its reading. Then what happens? Thumma inna alayna, not alayka, alayna bayanahu. Then indeed upon us, it is what? Clarification that is done by God. So we go to Quran chapter 3 verse 138 where God says, Haza, haza bayanun linnas. So the bayan you are looking for, it's found in the Quran. God says, Haza, not something else. This is Bayanu. This is the clarification. This is the declaration. This is what? Elucidation. This is explanation. For what? For the people, mankind in general, and as guidance and preachment for the what? The pious, Mutakin. Then again, we go to Quran chapter 55, verse 1 to verse 4, where God says, Ar Rahman, Allama al Quran, Khalaka al Insan, Allama al Bayan, the gracious. He taught the Quran. He created the human being. He taught him the what? The declaration, the elucidation, the clarification, the explanation. Where do we find it? Quran chapter 3, verse 138. So we go to Quran chapter 41, verse 3. God is telling us, Kitabun uh, Fusilat uh, Ayatuhu, he's talking about uh, how the Quran has been what? Elaborated. So God is telling us, Kitabun Fusilat Ayatuhu Quranan Arabian Likawmin Ya'alamun. So God is clearly telling you and I that a book whose verses have been what? Elaborated. An Arabic reading for people who know. So if you don't know, don't say it has not been elaborated. Quran chapter 11, verse 1. Let's see what God is telling us in that verse. So God says, Alif Lamura, Kitabun Uhtimat Ayatuhu. So God is again telling us, Alif Lamura, a book whose verses have been what? Uhkimat, mastered. We can say precise. It has been made precise. It has been mastered. Then, and then elaborated by the what? The wise and what? Cognizant. Yet we still have people who say the Quran has not been elaborated. Quran chapter 7, verse 52. God is clearly telling us about the Quran, the book, when he says, وَلَقَدْ So God is telling us again by saying, and we have suddenly brought them a book which we have detailed upon knowledge, or we can say by knowledge, as guidance and mercy for people who believe. Yes, I believe. Then again, if you go to Quran chapter 6, verse 114, God is clearly telling us, he says, Then he says, 
Fala takun nanna mina le mumtarin. God is clearly telling us. So shall I seek a judge other than Allah while he is the one who has revealed to you ilaykum jamu'u then the book al-kitab mufassala explained in detail. Elaborated what? In detail. Then it's asking you and those to whom we gave the book know that it has been revealed from your Lord in truth. So do not be of the doubters. Then he's telling us in chapter 6, verse 115, by completing that statement, then he says, وَتَمَّتْ كَلِمَةُ رَبِّكَ صِدِقًا وَعَدِلَ اللَّهُ مُبَدِّلَ لِكَلِمَاتِ وَهُوَ السَّمِيُّ الْعَلِيمُ So God is telling us, the word of your Lord is complete in truth and justice. There is no alteration to his words, for he is the hearing, the omniscient. So when we go to Quran chapter 25, verse 33, many a time the sectarians will tell us that the Quran needs another tafsir to explain it. But God is saying, وَلَا يَعْتُونَكَ بِمَثَلٍ إِلَّا جِهِنَاكَ بِالْحَقِّ وَأَحْسَنَ التَّفْسِيرَ so God is clearly telling us that. And they do not come to you, Muhammad, salam, with an instance, with a case, with an example, with an argument. But we have brought you al-haq, that is the truth, which is the Quran. And best in what? Tafsir, explanation. Best in what? Commentary. So if something is already best in what it is, what again does it need to explain it or give commentary on it? Nothing. So when we go to Quran chapter 39, verse 23, God says, Allah Lazina Yakshawuna Rabbahum, Thumma Talinu Juluduhum, Wukuluhum, Ila Zikirla, Zalika Hudallah Yadi Bihi Manyasha. Then he says, Woman Yudilahu, Fama Lahu Minha. So God is clearly telling us that God has revealed the best hadith, the best discourse. Then he says what? A book similarly repeating the skins of those who fear their Lord, shiver thereof. Does their skins and their hearts soften to the remembrance of God? That is the guidance of God. By which he guides whomever he wills. As for one whom God leaves astray, then he will have no guide. So this is the challenge God is giving the people. Chapter 17, verse 88. God is saying to the messenger to tell, Kul. Kul inni jitama atul insu wal jinna ala an yatu bimithli hadha al-Qur'an la yatuna bimithli. Indeed, if the humans and the jinns will confer in order to bring the like of the Quran, they cannot bring the like of this Quran. Then God is telling us, even if they were assistants to each other. So to simplify this, we go to Quran chapter 45, verse 6 to verse 8. And God is going to end the argument by saying what? Tilika ayatullahi natluha alayka bilhaq to the Prophet, right? For bi ayy hadithi baad Allahi wa ayati yuminun. Wayli li kulli affakin athim. Yes ma'u ayatullahi yutla alayhi. ثُمَّ يُسِرُّ مُسْتَكْبِرًا كَأَنْ لَمْ يَسْمَاهَا فَبَشِّرُهُ بِعَزَابًا عَلِيمٌ So God is clearly telling us, these are the verses of God which we recite to you, Muhammad a.s. in truth. So in which hadith, in which discourse, after God, Allah, and his ayat, verses, will they believe? We all know Sahih Bukhari hadith are not the verses of God. We all know Sahih Muslim are not the verses of God. So why waste your time? Then he says, woe to every sinful liar. Who are they? They know themselves. Who hears the verses of God? Ayatullah, not Sahih Bukhari, right? Ayatullah being recited to him, then insists arrogantly as if he had not heard them. Then God says it, therefore announce to him of a painful punishment. So now I'm asking the sectarians. Chapter 37, verse 156, 157. Am lakum sultan mubin, fatu bi kitabikum in kuntum swadikin. Do you have any authority? You have a clear authority? Then bring your book if you should be truthful. This is my presentation, and this is my 15 minutes, and this is where I bring you to an end. I leave the rest for later on. Thank you. Okay, you have five minutes more. Would you like to utilize it, or we should continue? Maybe I can, I can add something. Let me add something. Okay, sure. Now, many a time, the sectarians will tell us that uh, it is the hadith which I shall explain. Yet, they give their own definitions of hadith. They don't have anything right? To give us. It is on their own definition of what hadith is. They will say it is the what? The sunnah of the prophet and whatever have you. That is what they do. Now, what happens is when you go to Quran chapter 6 verse 19, the prophet himself, he said, The prophet says the Quran has been inspired to him in order to warn us by it and whomever it may reach. Right? Then again, Quran chapter 50, verse 45, the prophet again was told, Fazakir bil Quran man yakhafu wahid. 
He should use the Quran to remind the people by it, whoever fears the truth of God. Quran chapter 27, verse 92. And he's been told, Quran. He has to recite the Quran. That, that is what has been given to him to do. To recite the Quran, to warn by the Quran, and to do what? To what? Remind the people by the Quran and nothing else. So whenever you hear people telling you the prophet has been given two revelations, according to Quran chapter 47, verse 2, prophet Muhammad was only given one revelation, and chapter 47 is going to reveal that. وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِعَاتِ وَآمَنُوا بِمَا نُزِّلَ عَلَى مُحَمَّدِ Then God says, وَهُوَ الْحَقِّ He didn't say two things. هُوَ means a masculine pronoun. وَهُوَ الْحَقِّ It was one thing revealed to him for the guidance of the people. Then again, if you hear people telling you he has been given two revelations, that is a contradiction. Quran chapter 17, verse 73, right? Quran chapter 17, verse 73. God says, Then 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 God says, And indeed, they were about to tempt you away from that which we have what? reveal to you that is inspired to you in order to invent or to fabricate something about god who other than it it was one revelation given to him to give to the people as guidance for mankind so that is the quran there is no other external source we have to go to for the guidance of the people and this is what i represent yeah i still have time so let's go again aha uh -huh. so many a times again what the sectarians actually think is that the Quran has been revealed to us, but we have to go to an external source. The external source is the one going to explain the words of God, which is already self-explanatory. I've given you verses which actually gives you the evidence that the Quran has been explained. The Quran has been elaborated. The Quran has been clarified by God. But yet sectarians will tell you, no, it takes their hadith to understand the words of God. Look at this illogical argument. God his words being explained by a man who doesn't have authority to explain his words. They will tell you Muhammad is the what? Mufassir of the Quran. And yet we don't have the tafsir of Muhammad himself. No book ever exists on this earth called Tafsir al Muhammad. They don't have it. If they have it, mashallah, Sadiq Salis is here today. He will present that book for us to see where it says Tafsir Muhammad and that Muhammad gave to the people. This is my tafsir. Take it and it will explain the Quran. It never exists in their syllables. So again, what people, the misconceptions they normally have is when you go to Quran chapter 28, verse 47, it clearly gives you the evidence. When messengers come to the people, what the people have to follow is the verses of God. So these people, in the example of 28, verse 47, what they are saying is, our Lord, why did you not send a Rasul, that is a messenger to us, then we could follow your verses and be among the believers. So if the verses of God are not to guide you, are not to give you the chance to follow and practice your deen, why are these people going to be telling God that why didn't you send us a messenger where we could follow your verses? So you can see the evidences I presented from the Quran. Quran chapter 4, verse 174, the Burhan, the proof God has given you and I is the Quran and is found in the book of God not outside the book of God. That is the proof. Remember, the Quran is called Al-Furqan. That's why it says, Sharu Ramadan al-Lazi unzila fi al Quran hudan linnas. Right? So guidance for mankind and a guidance should be a clear book. And that's why Quran is called Quran al-Mubin or Kitab al-Mubin. So in this case, how can a wise book need an external source to be explained where it says Quran al-Hakim? This is why I bring my presentation. Today. Thank you. Okay. Um, so that's um, Baba Shoaib's um, 50 minutes, and that has been fully exhausted at a point. Uh, he was leaving it at 10 minutes. But anyway, so I am about to begin my uh, 50 minutes. So let me start. Alhamdulillahi wa kafa wa salatu wa salamu ala al-Mustafa wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa mawala amma ba'du. I can't hear your voice, but takbir, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. <laughs> Guys, I'm saying Allahu Akbar because um, after I have made sure that 
uh, these people are actually the definition of the words of the Quran in terms of misguidance and in terms of the hadith of the Prophet in terms of the ulama. Indeed, that is exactly what he presented himself to be. So inshallah, <laughs> inshallah, we are going to, today I'm going to do less of uh, the hadith al-munawwara, inshallah. Okay, so first of all, um, I'll take it from Surah Al-Hajj. I'll take the first ayah from Surah Al-Hajj. Just a description of uh, these people and then inshallah, we'll move on from there. Surah Al-Hajj, uh, the verse number eight. Surah Al-Hajj, verse number eight. Those of you who have the Quran, inshallah, you can open the Quran. Uh, that is uh, verse seven to eight. That Quran chapter 22, verse seven to eight. Where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he said, وَمِنَ النَّاسِ مَنْ يُجَادِلُ فِي اللَّهِ بِغَيْرِ عِلْمٍ وَلَا هُدًا وَلَا كِتَابٍ مُنِيرٍ وَمِنَ النَّاسِ مَنْ يُجَادِلُ فِي اللَّهِ There are among people, the people who argue in the issues of Allah بِغَيْرِ عِلْمٍ without knowledge وَلَا هُدًا without guidance وَلَا كِتَابٍ مُنِيرٍ and without a, a book of light or a law of light. So inshallah, today we are going to give Baba his own pill to take. I'm taking it from the verse that says, Kitab Munir. But before then, I said he has fallen, you see this verse, where Allah said, وَمِنَ النَّاسِ مَنْ يُجَارِلُ فِي اللَّهِ بِغَيْرِ عِلْمٍ وَلَا هُدًا وَلَا كِتَابِ مُنِير This is exact description. No knowledge, no um, guidance, and then no book of light. The verse then says, number eight says, Thaniya Aitufihi, Liyudilla an Sabilillahi. They are arrogant. They are arrogant so that they will keep on misguiding people from the path of Allah. Allah said, Subhanahu wa ta'ala, He said, Lehu fi dunya khizyun. Allah said, is good. For him in this world is disgrace. Allah is going to disgrace him. And on the day of judgment, a severe punishment awaits them. Now let's take go back to the same verse, verse 8. Wamina Nasi. That's verse 8. Wamina Nasi man yujadilu filahi. From among people are those who argue in the issues of Allah. Then Allah mentioned knowledge. Wala huden, then Allah mentioned guidance. Wala kitab munir. And without a, a book of light. Now the Quran we all know is kitab munir. Muslims here, do you doubt that the Quran? Of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala given to Muhammad is a guidance. Does any Muslim have doubt in that? Does any Muslim have doubt that the Quran is Ahsanul Hadith? No Muslim on the surface of the earth has doubt in this. Therefore, these people, like I described them, uh, if you study uh, developmental psychology at the stage of a kid, at the stage of a kid, I don't, I don't have you much, at the age of a kid, he asked what the kid reached a stage where we, where we call schema. So, you know schema? Schema is the state of the, of the kid where he thinks, uh, uh, he, he makes, um, how do you call it, descriptions for himself. So whenever he sees, for example, any animal with four legs, the kid calls it dog. So goat, he calls it dog. Um, pig, he calls it dog. Anything, he calls it dog. That is the age of schema. And that is where these people uh, are. Secondly, then they have egocentrism. Egocentrism is where they think that what they know is what we call knowledge what we call uh, logic. When he was speaking, he, he mentioned the word logic, and I'll come back to that. Let me quickly move on. Allah mentioned knowledge, then he mentioned guidance, then he mentioned kitab munir kitab munir we believe that that is the Quran. What is the knowledge? The knowledge is what the Quran came with. The recitation, when it is being recited and it is not being understood, that is not knowledge. Then Allah said, hudan, guidance. What is the guidance? Then, what is the guidance? Anyone who has been to any institution, anyone who has been to any school at all in this world, knows that we have some people called tutors. They are the guides. Although you have your textbook, but then you have the lecturer. And I'm going to give a clear, and today I'm going to let them know that, wallahi, they mention common sense and they don't have common sense. They mention, how do you call it, uh, logic, and they don't know what logic is. Anyone who has studied law or is in the school of law today, anyone who is in the school of law today, I have my brother with me, he's also in the school of law. 
when we say manslaughter in law, when, for example, it is said that this person has been charged, Mr. Susu and so has been charged for manslaughter, this statement is clear. Everyone understood what it is. It has been said. But anyone who has never been to the school of law or has never said it law have no idea what the... Uh, although you have, you, you have heard what they said, but Allah, you have no guidance. Because manslaughter, if someone likes, the person should, uh, how do you call it, translate it right now under this comment session. Let's see how they are going to translate it. They, will tra they may translate as someone who has killed someone. But manslaughter means that someone who has mistakenly, not intended, killed someone. That is manslaughter. Who explains this to us? Although the textbook says manslaughter, it is the teacher. And that is Muhammad. Sallallahu alayhi wasallam. So that is the first one. Second one, he made use of the word bayan. We all heard it. Bayan. Word, the bayan, the word bayan or mubin is from the word bana, yubinu, bayan, and what tibiyan. And you can hear him saying, quoting a verse of tibiyanan. Inshallah, guys, let's look at the meaning of bayan in the first place. The meaning of bayan can be many things. Number one, it can be. Um, Furqan, meaning to distinguish between good and bad. Indeed, the Quran distinguished between good and bad. Allah called the Quran Furqan. The Quran, again, is the meaning of bayan is izhar, to make something plain. So the Quran making, like I, I, I mentioned, I gave um, an example, an uh, analogical example, like someone who, the, let, uh, the judge says that you have been charged for manslaughter. This is a clear statement. It is eloquent. Everyone heard it. The Quran is eloquent. The Quran is clear in what it says. But then who tells us its meaning? Sometimes the Quran will come with a different verse, which is called Quran, Tafsir, uh, tafsir Quran, and Quran. And every Muslim believe in this. The Quran will come and explain itself. For ex example, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, in some cases, will use a verse to uh, define a verse. But to, right now, what I'm going to do is, to go into the verse, some of the verses he used in the interest of bayan to say that uh, the Quran is bayan, bayan, so therefore it doesn't mean anything. The Quran bayan means it distinguishes between good from bad. Number two is to make something clear. The Quran is a clear speech, meaning we hear it. When it is being recited, it is so clear. It is not uh, ambiguous in the way it is not, uh, how do you call it, twisted. It is not something that is not clear of Arabic language. It's Arabiyim. It's Arabiyim Mubin. It's clear Arabic language. But then does it mean it, it, uh, it has no teacher? Inshallah, as we will see, as we, we move on, we are going to bring him verses to tell us the meaning from the Quran, Inshallah. So number one, let's go to Surah to Zukhruf. Surah to Zukhruf, chapter, that is chapter 43, verse 52, without wasting of much time. Surah to Zukhruf. That is chapter 43, verse 52. Let's listen to the kalima bayan or mubin. When Fir'aun was talking to Musa, alayhi salatu wasalam, he said, Am ana khayrun min hadha alladhi huwa mahinun wa la yakadu yubin. Wa la yakadu yubin. Fir'aun said to Musa, alayhi salatu wasalam, when he was trying to criticize Musa for not being, for not being clear in his tongue, for not being clear in his tongue, he said, "Am ana khayrun." Musa said, uh, "Firauna." He said, "Am I better min hada or this one that alladhi huwa mahin? That is a nobody. Wala yakadu yubin, and he cannot even speak well. The Quran, the Quran speaks well, and we hear what the Quran. Uh, it is not hidden. The Quran, the verses of the Quran, is not hidden. It is open for everyone to see. Due to time, I'll just um, use some few verses, and then inshallah, maybe when we come back. Now, Quran chapter uh, 65, verse 1. That is Surah to Talaq. Let's listen to what the kalima again, by uh, Mubin or Bayande or Bayinade. Which, it doesn't mean explanation. That's my point. My point is, the, uh, how do you call it? Bayan or Mubin doesn't necessarily, now the, the English, doesn't necessarily mean explain. And that is the ignorance of these people. They take, like I said, they have a schema. So everywhere they see four legs of an animal, they say goat. Surah Al-Talaq, 
where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he said to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Ya ayuhan nabiyu, idha talakutumun nisa, fatalikuhunna li'iddatihinna wa ahsul li'idda, wa attaku allaha rabbakum, la tukhrujuhunna min buyutihinna, wa la yakhrujna illa an yatina bifahishatin mubayyina. Allah said, illa an yatina bifahishatin. That Allah said, mubayyina. Allah used the word mubayyina, unless Allah said, unless the ladies come out with clear or something that can be seen uh, an evil act meaning uh, how do you call it uh, adultery or an evil act that can be seen so mubayyina here the scholar they said muzahira or zahiratan something that can be seen and that doesn't mean explain explanation so that is the ignorance the ignorance here is that wherever they say mubin or bayan then they say what they say explanation the quran has to explain itself no the quran is saying that it is clear in its language that does not mean it, uh, it doesn't need any, uh, how do you call it, form of explanation. Now, he then used, um, how do you call it? Uh, uh, how do you call it? Where Allah said, Hada bayanun, Hada bayanun linnas. Wallahi, anyone, anyone who has a Quran should open that verse. Anyone who has a Quran should open that verse. Just type, Hada bayanun linnas wa huda wa ma'idatan lil muttaqin. And then you see these people, sometimes they make use of the word uh, siyak, siyak. But siyak, siyak, why is it that this, this time around you left siyak, Baba Shuaib? Siyak means, they say it means context, which today I will be asking him the different types of chaos if he actually know them. Let's go to the verse, the verse is in Surah Al-Imran, that is uh, verse 138. Verse 138, let's go and look at the context, because we are coming back to the word Bayan again, which is separate from the Quran, the, uh, the recitation of the Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he said, sorry, verse uh, 138, I think I opened a different verse. I just want to read from the top, inshallah. Now, Allah said, When Allah was describing something from the top again, he said, After Allah explained something that he said, He said, Some people have come before you, O Muhammad, and this your ummah. He said, They have come with path, therefore walk on the land. And go and see. Go and see how Allah has dealt with the evil ones. Then Allah said, Haza bayanun lin nasi. If you go and see these people, this is a clear evidence to you. So here Allah wasn't referring to the Quran. You are a liar, Baba Shuai. That Allah was Haza Bayan was referring to the Quran. Wallahi, Haza Bayan was referring to Allah telling the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. To travel to the to tell the people to travel to the land to go and see how Allah dealt with the people before them. So has a bayan, you lie that it is referring to the Quran. Now the next one. And I'm going to use that simple verse, inshallah. Allah said, La tu harrik bihi lisana kalita ajalabi. The same verse you use. La tu harrik bihi lisana kalita ajalabi. Do not hasten your tongue, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, in grasping the Quran. لا تحرك به لسانك به هي يسفن في القرآن. الله صل إن علينا جمعه وقرآنه. And this is where you tell. Allah said we are going to gather, we are going to arrange the Quran, the حروف of the Quran for you. And I said Allah said إن علينا جمعه. It is for us to gather the Quran for you for its recitation. Then Allah said ثم إن علينا بيان. Then Allah ثم when ثم comes in the verse, the one that comes after ثم doesn't mean it is not the same thing that came before the summa. And this is Arabic, simple Arabic principle. The one that came before summa, summa, it's not the same as the one that came after summa. Baba Shuaib, Allah said, summa inna alayna bayana. So the Quran, again, when it is, the Quran has been mentioned already, then Allah said, it is for us to ex give the explanation. It's not Allah that is going to sound from the heavens, but it's going to give it to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam for that explanation. And therefore, Allah said to the Prophet ﷺ that, 
Allah said to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that it is you to uh, define the Quran or uh, explain the Quran, inshallah, my time is up and I will end it here. In the next one, then we'll go uh, to the next uh, uh, verses, inshallah. First of all, before I go there, Siddiq, you called me a liar. I think we are supposed not to go against each other in that manner. You called me a liar which goes against that the That shouldn't be an issue. Go, when you finish, when you no, finish no, we'll, the we'll, go we'll, and let listen. Me, let me go and listen to yourself I, when you were referring to the way you were describing. You were saying sectarians. You were saying this and the way you were describing them. You put it there that there will no, 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 be no wait, 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 wait. Let's be honest. Did, did I point you and say you, Siddiq? No, I'm part of those you are talking about. So that shouldn't be an issue. Let's, uh, let's, you take let's, it for let's yourself. Move on. Okay, no problem. Again. I'm, I'm part of them. I'm part of, no I'm part of no those you are, you are talking Again, about. Again, it wasn't time for rebuttals, but you were already taking from my presentation and attacking me instead of going with your presentation. So you so are failed in the first place. Don't worry. That, that is, is, is for the audience. Okay. Uh, to just, uh, it's for those who are listening. They, 